Last video we saw what is API versioning, what is the uh, what is the problem that it is solving. This one we are going to see the real time questions and scenario based question also what we might expect in the interview. So let's go ahead and see this one. So the first question is straightforward. What is API versioning and why it is important? What are the different ways to achieve API versioning and what are the pros and cons of each approach? We have seen this in detail. So this video, I'm just going walking through the questions and whatever question needs explanation, I'm going to explain that so that you can answer it properly. And this, uh, these two questions are very basic one, uh, the like theoretical, uh, very much nothing to think. It is just there and you just have to explain that. How do you decide which API versioning strategy to use for a particular project or application? So we also have seen uh, we have um, uh, header, we have media type, we have URL rewriting. So we have these three, four methods. So what are the criteria that you choose for the project, uh, which one to go for? So it is about the agreement that your you as a service owner and your client as a uh, uh, as a client of your service and which way you want to go ahead so you just have to say that in if i have to say that url versioning you i have to just change the api endpoint and the client has to do the same thing the second way is the query parameter you just have to add the query matter query parameter so these are the simplest method so you just have to sit if interviewer are asking you they just have to say uh, that it is up to the uh, it is up to the agreement that we have as a service owner and our client and we can go ahead uh, with the pros and cons that we have so you want to create one more endpoint just go ahead and do that i don't want to create an endpoint i just can take care of with the header information or i can pass the query parameter there that can take care of that one also how do you handle backward compatibility when making changes to an api why is it important so this is the classic question this is the scenario based question you, you, you where your answer is the api versioning then the follow up question is what are the different versions what are the different ways of the api versioning so what are some best practices for an API versioning and how can you ensure that your API is easy to use and maintained over time? So for the uh, sake of simplicity, just that you remember it, so I have put some points there. So first best practice is use semantic versioning. So if your first endpoint is like uh, this is starting with the product you are where you are adding the product. So the next the version that you are getting, it should be very simple to read it out. So you just put the V1 and other word yes we own product so it is obvious that it is the version one provide clear documentation pass on the clear documentation that what changes that you're introducing in this new version avoid breaking changes very whenever possible so existing changes there are nothing happening here so that uh, uh, whenever you any clients using the new one they should be aware of what they are using so that's what it is saying that avoid the breaking changes support multiple versions so that's what the point of this one v1 v2 v3 and monitor each endpoint so whether you are getting the traffic there or not when you are not getting any traffic only then you deprecate that remove that one provide a clear migration path if there is a big change there is a small change there should be a proper migration guide if uh, if you are using a spring boot or any software sort of thing so if there is any new version release there is a proper release notes released with that one if there is any breaking change there is a big documentation around that how to migrate uh, from one version to the other one the next one is the how do you communicate changes to an api developers and users and what tools or processes can you use to manage api versioning effectively so it's the thing that you have added new version how will you communicate to the client so obviously notes email api documentation etc what are the some common challenges or pitfalls when working with api versioning and how can you avoid them this is the challenge that uh, we can we might introduce breaking changes we have to manage the multiple version we have to come up with the proper versioning strategy we have to make sure that we have a proper documentation for that and how do we communicate to the client that they are properly on on same base as the the service we have so these are the challenges we have at the see that we have seen that how we can avoid these how do you test and validate API versions to ensure that they are working as expected and meeting the needs for uh, of your user? It is about the agreement that we have and the testing automation properly, unit test properly and the business uh, logic that is added and it is properly integrated into the automation test scenarios. 
How can you use API version to enable experimentation and innovation while still maintaining stability and reliability of for your users? It is the uh, classic question of API, API versioning. You introduce new versions, you uh, pass that versions to some of the clients, and you uh, monitor their behavior, mon uh, take their take their feedback, how they are using this API, and if it is helping or not, it is giving some extra information or not. They want to move to the new version or not. So based on that, you uh, move that information to other clients to use the new versions. So that is how we maintain the. It's a uh, we we say that it is passed. Our new version is working good. If it is not working good, we move to the previous version only. If it is breaking something, we move to the previous version. We always have option. If we are not making change in existing API so that it is a backward compatible. How can you measure the success of API versioning strategy and what metrics or feedback mechanism can you choose to continually improve your API over time? It is a classic question of the it is a very good question and on the managerial round they will need to see like need to listen your thought process around this one. So we just discussed in the last question adoption rate usage patterns what are the error rates how feedback uh, how your clients are responding to the new clients api analytics and performance metrics all those things you are going to monitor from the back end how how your new api is behaving as compared to the previous one coming to the scenario wise question so your company is planning to make some significant changes to an api that is widely used by external developers how do you approach versioning the api to avoid breaking changes for an existing application while still enabling new features and functionality to be added so i'll go ahead and choose one of the api api versioning strategy and implement the new changes into the new api and there will be no changes in the existing one The second question is you are working on a project that involves building a new API for a mobile app. How would you decide on a version strategy for the API and what factors would you take into account when making that decision? So the last uh, questions we already have seen point wise whenever uh, adding a new API, new versions, uh, what are the things that we should keep in mind? First one is the breaking changes and it should be backward compatible, not breaking the existing one, all sort of things that we have to take into account. You are responsible for maintaining an API that has multiple versions and you receive a support ticket from a developer who is experiencing issues with one of the older versions. How do you investigate to troubleshoot the issue and what steps would you take to resolve it? First of all, we have to move to the logs, monitoring applications, how it is behaving, what data do we have and from there only we have to investigate that what problem is happening. So metrics, APM. Uh, logs that are there they are going to help us only to, to, to troubleshoot the problem so the next question is you are developing an api that needs to support multiple clients with different needs and requirements the question is how do you design, how do you design and implement a versioning strategy that allows for flexibility and customization while still maintaining backward compatibility <laughs> First, what you have to see, uh, you have to note down and clearly state, the, uh, identify the requirements of the each and client, each and every client. Then you will create the versions of each client, and you will publish a API specification for that, for which client, which endpoint is to use. So here, instead of v1, v2, v3, we can name the clients itself, like what clients it is. Content negotiation uh, will. Uh, when we get all the clients of all the uh, all the requirements from all the clients we will have to set up some common ground as an api owner we have to see that what are the common things what are the reusability things and what are the common attributes that can be used across clients that is where content negotiation comes into picture feature flag and talk changes so you just have to uh, add like when you are adding a new feature so you have to move towards the new feature gradually that is where feature flags come handy documentation changes existing documentation should be changed to address the new changes that you are publishing in the new apis monitor this is very important you have to put a monitoring strategy your failure mode analysis your run book in place before uh, before communicating your client that this new version is ready to be used the next question is you are working on a project that involves 
Integrating multiple APIs from different providers. How do you manage versioning conflicts and ensure that APIs are compatible with each other while still providing the necessary functionality to your application? Again, it is a uh, that versioning strategy that I'll use. So, uh, what are the different providers are there? Uh, for each provider, I'll have to maintain a different versions for that. And accordingly, I have to maintain the documentation and I have to create a run book for each one. And what are the API specification? I have to go through that only there is no other way the, these are the only things uh, to to avoid the ambiguity uh, around the multiple versions we have to have the clear documentation clear monitoring strategies clear api documentation metrics and all that in place so that you don't have to communicate it to verbally to anyone so you should have a documentation so that you can say that here is the documentation and you can go ahead and see that Next one is that you are a developer who is working with an API that has undergone several changes over time and you need to update your application to work with the latest version. How do you go about testing and validating the new version of the API and what steps would you take to ensure that your application continues to function correctly after the update? As a client of the existing service, uh, this question is there. So there is a uh, service, it's uh, from someone else and you are a client and that service has multiple versions of the same business functionality where slight changes are there and you have to use the latest version. You are on some uh, old version, let's say you are on a Java 8 version and you have to move to the Java 17, Java 20. How do you test all the things? Obviously, you will go to the test environment, you will do the changes, you will run your unit test cases, integration test cases, all sort of thing that business features that you have and you have to make sure that they are working properly. You will put in place your monitoring alerts, um, test cases, you will change all sort of things as per the latest uh, API that is there. You will follow their documentation, will get in touch if there is any problem and then you will make sure that if it is working fine, you will move to the prod with the latest version. So that is the clear path that we have to go, follow while, um, uh, while going towards the latest version. The next one is that you are a product manager who is responsible for an API that is used by multiple internal teams within your organization. How do you gather feedback and requirements from those teams? How do you prioritize and plan changes to the API in a way that minimizes disruption and avoids compatibility issues? You can refer one of the previous questions when we have seen while adding uh, uh, versions of the API, what is the different thing that we have to keep in mind. So identify the requirement, API spec, documentation, notification, metrics and all that should be in place while mm, maintaining different versions of the API. So that is the answer of this one as well. You are a developer who is building a new application that needs to integrate with an existing API. How do you ensure that your application is compatible with the API and how do you handle versioning conflicts or changes that might occur in the future? Again. Um, all sort of question has mostly similar uh, answers, clear documentation, API spec, documentation, metrics, monitoring should be in place to address the changes. So that was it. That was it for the API versioning questions. I hope some of these questions may be similar or something, but it is good idea. It is good to go through all of these so that you're not missing any particular scenario. So that was it for this one. I'll see you in the, some other video uh, about the same thing. Uh, it's a concept and it's scenario as question. So thank you for your time. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.